And you have a conversation over your fears. Mm -hmm. And and the fear says, <laughs> you over 30, you still ain't got no man. And so you know what you need? You need to lower your standard. No, he ain't saved, but he cute. That's enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Watch out. That's enough. Your fear say, your, 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 fear, your fear say, listen, you, listen, listen, this, this marriage is not going to work. You better hurry up. You're, you're, before you're 50, it's going to be, it's going to be harder. So it's best for you to just jump ship now. And so here's what fear does. Fear. Anybody used to watch Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Oh, yeah. Everybody watch that? Come on. Everybody watch that? Everybody. Just, just diversity over that show. Amen. Right? There was an episode that, that spoke to me the most, and it was when Ben Vereen was, was Will Smith's dad, and he was leaving him. Y'all remember that scene? Yeah. And it was a very emotional scene, and just stay with me. And and the, the pivotal part is when Ben, uh, ben Vereen, um, playing a role of Will Smith's dad and Uncle Phil were arguing and he was just going to try to leave and Uncle Phil walked up on him. And then Will ended up coming in and he said, you know, I just think it'll be, you know, better, you know, if I remove myself. Now here's what he was doing. He was being a coward for presenting himself as a hero. That's what I fear to do. We're being cowards but we want to present ourselves as being heroes. Well, I had to do this because I had to do this because the spirit, but we cannot trust our heart. So uh, we got to realize that that it is a bad thing to be led by emotions. Number two, realize that fear is not just an emotional issue, but a spiritual one. Please don't compartmentalize yourself. They're intertwined. Your physical, emotional, and mental health, health, I'm sorry, is a byproduct of where you are spiritually. Mm -hmm. My fears are directly linked to what or who I love. It reveals who or what I value. If I sit down and talk about what are you scared of? You say, I'm scared of my business failing. I'm scared of this not taking out. Why? Because you love it. You're scared because you love it. I want my business to take off. I want my career to take off. You love that. You're scared because you love it. The question is, are you scared for the right thing? Do you fear God? Do you fear God?